Okay, Job chapter 23. Then Job answered, back and forth, back and forth, and said, Even today, right now as he's talking, is my complaint bitter. My stroke is heavier than my groaning. And he's referencing to these three guys that deal with him. You're making me bitter. Yeah, I'm complaining. But I ain't getting nowhere. Oh, that I knew where I might find him, God. That I might come even to his seat. Now, Job is going forth in this chapter. He's going to seek God. Because he's been accused of not seeking God, not praying, not doing right. He's wicked. He's going to hell. And Job's like, listen, if you guys just shut up, God will speak to me. I am desiring the Holy One. I'm not desiring you. He said at one point, he says, I speak unto God in my friend's answer. And here he goes. I would order my cause before him, God, and fill my mouth with arguments. That's the only time that word shows up, arguments. And when God comes to Job, Job shuts right up. God will give Job that opportunity. Come on, Job. What do you guys say? Nope, you're holy, you're righteous. I'll keep my mouth shut. So Job's running off with the mouth. I would know the words which he would answer me. So Job has proclaimed that God will speak to him. And understand what he would say unto me. Now is God going to speak to me, Job, but I'm going to have understanding of what he says to me. Will he, God, plead against me with his great power? No. But he would put strength in me. God is not going to beat me and drive me as a nail in a board. God's going to help me. And Job is understanding that correction is helpful. I guarantee with the children that he had, he had to correct them. There the righteous might dispute, that's the only time that word shows up, with him, God. I don't think so. I don't know why the righteous would dispute with God. Again, yeah, Job's angry, he's bitter, he's groaning, he's aggravated. So should I be delivered from every, forever from my judge. Job is proclaiming a forever life. And I will be passed on into eternal life through the judge, my God. Behold, I, Job, go forward, but he's not there. And backward, but I cannot perceive him. On the left hand, where he does work, but I cannot behold him, God. He, God, hides himself on the right hand, that I cannot see him. <clears throat> Job is saying, I'm looking for God and I can't see him. I don't know where God is with the destruction. I don't know where God is with the boil. I don't know why, what reason it's happening. But he has not given up on God. He says, though this flesh die and, and corrupt in the grave, I will see God, my Redeemer, with my eyes. But he, God, knoweth the way that I take. Behold the eyes of the Lord in every place. Behold the evil and the good. God sees it. Remember we, Eliphaz has said, you know, there's that dark cloud, Job, you say, and God can't see what you're doing. Job's like, God sees everything I'm doing. And he's rebuking the, the rebukes of the rebu rebukers that are rebuking him while he's rebuking them back. I just wonder if Job just would just ever just be quiet and on what would happen. But, like my philosophy, when, I, when I'm dealing with people and they say something stupid, I'm going to come back with the right Bible answer so I don't let you think, you know, oh, I'm so smart, I'm so great. And that's exactly what Job's doing. Now watch this. When he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. And that's the famous hymn. Job says, I'm going to be fine gold one day. 
I'm going to be precious. I'm going to be worth something to God. My foot, Job's foot, has held his steps, God's path. His steps, God's steps. Job says, with my feet, I have walked in the steps of God where he wants me. His way, God's way, have I kept and not declined. Job is proclaiming, I've done what God's told me to do. Is that not what God said in the Holy Spirit, chapter 1 and chapter 2 of Job? Yes. So he's calling these guys a liar. And they are. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. Now look at that. Job is the first written book of the Bible. And Job says that God has spoken with his lips. We know he spoke to, to Noah. You can eat me and whosoever kills anybody shed his blood. His blood shall be shed. And we have instances in the Bible where God spoke to Abraham. God spoke to Isaac. Spoke to Jacob. And like I said, we're in the grandchildren of Esau. And these things have been passed down, and I guarantee Job has had God speak to him. That's what he said. Neither have I gone back from his commandment of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth, God's mouth, more than my necessary, as the first time that word shows up, food. What words? Where is it written? Nothing. And Job says, everything that God said, I made sure. That before I ate my meals, I devoured the Word of God. And there are several places where the Word of God has been literally eaten, John, in the book of Revelation. And I think it was Ezekiel. So Job says, my diet has been the Word of God, and he ain't got no Bible. So what about the heathen don't have no Bible? Job's the heathen, and God got it to him. But he, God, is one mind. One God, one mind, one Savior, one Spirit, one baptism, one church, one Bible. And who can turn him? Nobody. And what his soul desires, God's, even that he doesn't. God does everything that's holy and right. Now, there is a case in the Bible where God has changed. God told Isaiah, he said, go see the king. You tell him, put everything in order, you're going to die. And that man prayed. God said, okay, I'm going to add 15 years. And there were kings in Judah that were right with God. God said, listen, I'm going to destroy you guys. Well, because you got right, because you repented, because you have a tender heart, it's not going to happen in your time. And there have been instances where prayer has changed God. But God himself is holy. You're not going to make God unholy. There are people out there who want God to do unrighteousness, and he won't. He performeth the thing that is appointed for me. Whatever God has for Job, Job says it's going to happen. How can Job stop it? Whatever is going to happen in our life that God has foreordained, has foreknowledge of, that we have not seen. What are we going to do to stop God when we don't even know what's going to happen? Let's say God knows tomorrow. And he knows I'm going to be in a certain place. And that certain place I'm going to be is going to end up in the hospital for the rest of my life. I had no idea. We went today to the store. Had no idea what we did. We are just going to go pick up a few things. And had no idea we are going to run into a Christian that would ask us to pray for her. God knew that was already going to happen. God already, and that woman told us she had no idea why she was going to the store. And God has brought the four of us together so we can pray for each other. Now, if you told me this morning, Stalin, you're going to get up. I don't even know what, Ted, what day this is today. I'm not even sure if my wife had dialysis today. But 
I, huh? Tuesday. I had no idea I was going to, matter of fact, I didn't sleep last night because it was a sore throat, but I didn't have no idea today I was going to go to Publix and meet somebody and have the opportunity to pray with them. It changed that woman's life. And many such things are with him. God knows it all. Now watch this. Therefore I, excuse me, therefore am I troubled at his presence. There you go. There's someone who wants to get right with God. He says, listen God, I, I'm in trouble in front of you. And when I consider I am afraid of him. The fear of the Lord is beginning with wisdom. Don't tell me Job is not right with God. With everything that's happened to Job, Job says, God, you're a terrible, mighty God. All this has happened upon me. I have no idea. I, I don't have no understanding. And I fear you. For God maketh my heart soft, broken, and the Almighty troubles me. Everything has happened to him. God has broken him. And when we look at disaster, calamity in our lives, it may be God saying, I just want to break that heart. I'm trying to help you. That's what Job's seeing. Job is seeing chapter 23. I'm being chastised by the Father in heaven because I am his son and I've done wrong. Because I was not cut off before the darkness. There's that chapter 3. Oh, I wish I died before I was born. I'm living, I survived, here I am, it's happened, God I need to understand, I need help. Neither have he covered the darkness from my face. I mean I got light, here I am, 